We're installing the Long Ride Racer SK saddlebags on the 2021 Meteor 350. Stay tuned. You know, guys, if you uh, frequent watcher of the channel, you know I've been looking for uh, really good saddlebags to match what the theme of the uh, Supernova Brown uh, Meteor 350 is. And I tell you what, I think I absolutely found them. It's one of those type of things that uh, you know you keep searching and keep searching and keep searching. It was a little frustrating to be honest with you, and uh, because I seen a lot of bags that were pretty cool. There were some of them were really cheap and inexpensive, and they looked that way. Other ones were really expensive, but I didn't like you know. The saddlebag uh, stays, if you will, uh, or the brackets were just hideously huge. It looks like what the Himalayan looks like with the uh, with the panniers off. But uh, when I got a hold of uh, Long Ride and, and wanted to check them out, I said, "You guys have, you know, uh, I, I like something that I can permanently mount. I don't like the throwover bags that well. It's just not me. And nothing wrong with them. A lot of guys are using them, but I prefer something that's mounted securely and that I can take on and off. Long Ride has the Sidekick, which uh, basically uh, incorporates this uh, little bracket." here that fits on the side of the Meteor 350 and other motorcycles as well too. This one is Meteor specific and it's one of the things that really turned me on about the company that they actually make the uh, braces for each and every model. Uh, they got them available for the INT 650 and the Continental GT and all you know Triumph and a bunch of other motorcycles as well too. Uh, and they got this sidekick system which which basically uh, enables you to slide it down on the brace and let me show you how it works. Uh, let's see goes down like this, snaps in place, if I can do it the right way, goes down like this, snaps in place, and you've got a lock in the back that you can lock it on. And uh, I think that's pretty cool because uh, you know, a lot of times you're, you know, you want to go into a, a bar or a winery or a brewery and have a have a drink or two or go out to dinner or something like that. Or you know, if you stop and get gas and want to run in the restroom or however you want to do it, you want to make sure nobody can come and just take those bags and go. And uh, that's a cool way. And you can, like I say, they send you a couple keys with it, and you can lock it up. Uh, the bag itself is. Uh, I mean, it's perfect for the Meteor. Again, you guys are going to see a video here in the next couple of months uh, with me taking a long ride. I'm going to be doing a 700-mile trip one way to uh, a place in uh, right outside of uh, uh, the Appalachian Mountains, and we're going to go up there and, and visit some really cool stuff on the Appalachian Trail. And, and um, I don't think I'm going to do any of the BDR because I'm taking the Meteor. And this is what I wanted these bags for because I want to do long-distance touring. You know, I keep talking talking about it being uh, the Meteor 350 being the ultimate uh, ultralight touring bike but it needed bags and it was driving me absolutely crazy well with this smaller little uh, rack on the on the uh, side of the rail system and the fact that I can take those on and off and they do have tail bags as well too to match up for my uh, and you guys seen the pictures before of the uh, of the GV uh, luggage rack. Uh, I'll show you pictures here after we're done but uh, I think you're going to get a kick out of this whole system and more important than that it's freaking beautiful. It matches the bike perfectly. Well, the first thing we have to do, guys, is install the rails. And we're going to do that right now. Well, you guys know that I have the GV rack on here, and the reason I do is because, uh, you know, Iron Lady and I, we, we do a lot of two-up riding, and uh, even with a tail bag on, it gives me the opportunity to put it on the back, or if I'm doing a really long-distance trip, I can actually put a bag here and a bag back here, plus the saddle bags, and give me a tremendous amount of space uh, to put things in, you know, because you never can have too much stuff. <laughs> actually, you can. But... Uh, GV incorporated a, a button cap uh, five millimeter, which I'm really not a fan of the button caps. I'd much rather have the uh, the, the wider uh, walled uh, Allen heads. But because of this reason, um, when you're trying to take it off, sometimes if you put it on, it'll it'll spin on you. And I got a little tip for you: if you find yourself a little rubber band. And if, it, if the uh, inside of the Allen is rounded, particularly on these button caps, and you stick the rubber band over the hole and literally push it in there, it'll come right out most of the time. If it's not gonna come out, hey guys, it's time for you to uh, uh, you know, tap it out and, uh, and remove it with a screw remover. So that's a little tip that I use a lot. I keep a lot of these little tiny rubber bands around for that very reason. But uh, what we're gonna do is 
put the new rail on here, but before we do that, we wanna make sure we loosen them both up. However, I do not wanna take the bolts completely out, and the reason why is because when you're talking about the, uh, the Supernova Brown with, the, with the, uh, you know, the backrest or sissy bar, and then you add the GV rack, and then of course the seat itself, there's a series of things that go together there that need to be lined up. And if you take everything out, it's gonna fall. And to be personally honest with you, it takes a little bit of effort to uh, find the hole, if you know what I mean. I had to buy other bolts that doesn't come with the kit. Now I talked a long ride and they may start incorporating it, uh, particularly if guys have a, uh, uh, whether it's a GV rack or another luggage uh, carrier, uh, you need you need longer bolts. This one happens to be a uh, 120 millimeters, and this one happens to be 110 millimeters. And it took me a while. I had to we couldn't find them locally. I had to get them uh, online, and it took a couple days. I've had this uh, system for a while, and I really love it, but it, I haven't been able to put it on because it didn't have long enough bolts. Now I did talk to Ollie there at Long Ride, and they are desperately searching for bolts that long to maybe incorporate. I'm not sure. I can't guarantee that, but uh, like I said. Uh, Maybe you can say, hey, I do have a rack on the back as well on my, uh, uh, on my uh, Meteor 350, and then they'll send the extra bolts with them as well, probably for a charge. I know I would. <laughs> well, let's take this out. This is the rack. And uh, these are the bolts that I purchased. And I wanted to make sure that I had them threaded all the way through. I don't know if you can see that very well or not. And the reason why, in case I need to do some cutting, which luckily I did not. So we're gonna put our little lock washer on it, followed by our little washer that comes with the kit. Shove it in the hole there. And then there's a, that comes with the GV, there's a black washer as well too. And then we're gonna try to uh, somehow get everything to slide back in its right place. And for the button caps, I'm using a six millimeter. And we're gonna twist that in a little bit, get her started good. This is really an easy mod, guys. Once you have things figured out, nothing to it, Sonny Pruitt. Now we'll take the other one out now. Okay, then once you get it uh, started in there, You can run it in. What I like to do is give her a little snug, do the front, give her a little snug, come back. I, I do not know what the uh, torque values are on these, but I would say be careful because <laughs> you don't want to break them. Just give her good, nice and tight. It's a good idea to have a little bit of blue Loctite on it as well too. But there you go. And Basically, that's all there is to it. Now we'll do the other side, and I'll show you how to attach the bags. Guys, this is exactly what you get with the, uh, the instructions. Uh, not only the braces that come in the, uh, in the bags, but also this uh, little template. Uh, again, the uh, sidekick and the hardware needed to attach it. These, uh, I was told by Ollie that they're uh, uh, optional, but uh, I'm gonna use them because when I snap them on there, uh, I wanna make sure they're exactly where I want them to be, and that keeps them, uh, they, they give the ability to slide the bags back and forth, but I want them to stay in a specific area, and that's why I'm gonna use these, and we'll show you how to put them on here in a little bit. But the most important part of this is actually affixing this to the saddle bag. And that means you have to be extremely careful. And here's the reason why. Because you're going to be drilling holes in that, not only that uh, wax canvas, but also the hard backing plate to bolt these in. So I'm going to show you what I did. Like I mentioned earlier, I made several copies. And the reason I did that is so I could, uh, in case I mess up, because you know, you can and do oftentimes mess up. Uh, I try to get it exactly lined up this little arrow there with my cutting fit surface and yeah basically we want followed right down that line and what I also want to do is try to find the bottom too and uh, let's see where we're at here I'd say that's approximately it <laughs> oh man right on the button and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to place this on the saddlebag on the back of the saddlebag, I, uh, I, I'm trying to find the direct center. Uh, you can pretty much put this anywhere you want, that way you can adjust it. I found out that when I'm looking at the measurement, I want it exactly at six and a quarter inches. And so what I'm doing here 
is I'm going to measure to make sure this dead center line is exactly six and a quarter inches. And then I'm going to measure it to make sure it's directly in the middle uh, because I want everything lined up perfectly. So what we're going to do is we're going to look and find that six and a quarter inches from the side and that's it right about there. And uh, I like to use this uh, painter's tape to kind of give me a little bit of hold in place temporarily. Oops, see I moved it. Because that's what will happen. So go back to six and quarter inches. You guys can figure out the, uh, the uh, centimeters. Make sure it's that way in the bottom too. And once you find your six and a quarter, I like to tape it down. I like to measure from the top too. I want about an inch. Let's see. Inch and a half to hold a hole. Inch and a half hold a hole. Taper down ever more. Make sure everything is copacetic. And then I can make my marks. And let me show you what I got to do there. Inside the bag, you're going to find this zipper compartment. You want to unzip it, and it's going to show you that back, pla uh, back splash. What I like to do here, because I'm going to be doing some drilling, and I don't want to drill through that liner. So what I'm going to do is put a couple pieces of wood. So it'll give me the ability to drill, but yet not damage that inner material. Particularly the big hole we're going to be drilling. See, now we've got a solid surface on which to do our drilling. And since I've been moving stuff around, we're going to check it again. Six and a quarter. Six and a quarter. Perfect. So, I'm going to drill a pilot hole first. And now this is where the tough one's going to be. Because this here hole needs to be three quarters of an inch. And the reason for that is, is because I remember you ta talking about that locking system. Well, that locking system, make sure everything's copacetic here. Get rid of that. That locking system is uh is where we're going to be able to push our keyhole through and i'll show you here in a second what i like to do though before i do that is come in with an exacto knife and before i go through all that other stuff trim this canvas out of the way and that way it fits in really nice and neat Man, there's something about drilling holes in a new canvas. It just makes you a little nervous, don't you? The whole idea is to get a nice clean cut there. So when you bolt the pieces together, it'll be, co it'll be near perfect. And you can see that everything just lines up really nice and neat. Okay. But you can see in there, that hole, how, I hope you can see how clean that is. 
And when we hook this in the back here and I put the bolts in, you can see, hopefully, how that key fits right there. Well, let's finish putting this together. And they're going to cling on to each other because it's kind of a soft pick anyways. But, and that's the mount right there, guys. So what we end up with is the ability to clip it on there, get to the other side. And, voila, we have saddlebags. <laughs> and I'll tell you, we'll, go, we'll take her outside here in a minute, and I'll show you the complete system. But I'll also show you how to, to make sure that these things get locked in there as well, too. Well, you guys can see the little locking uh, mechanism right there. And uh, let's see if I can do this with one hand. There. And now... Zip this back up. I have to bit. I have to get two hands, guys. Hang on. And they do make liners for these as well, too. But now, in the clip system, it will not move. And again, that's exactly what you want to do. You want to have the bags being able to be locked down. And uh, now they are. <laughs> Man, it's some bright sunshine <laughs> out here. But what I wanted to do is show you basically uh, exactly what we've got and how we've attached it. And like I said, I think it's one of going to be one of the most, uh, I don't know, versatile systems that I think I've ever seen as far as looks. I mean, yeah, guys. <laughs> and it's pretty cool because with the duffel, they, uh, they include these little tie-downs, which you can uh, tie to the, these little hooks here, run it through the loops and tie it down here as well on both sides and uh, it gives you the ability to to haul a bunch of stuff now they do make a bigger duffel than this and uh, i'm actually thinking about getting it uh, because that way i can put this uh, on the back and have the bigger duffel on the front for an extremely long distance tour but i'm telling you i don't think few bikes look any better than that right there Guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video on how I attach the Long Ride Racer SK Sidekick uh Saddlebags, and of course, I affixed the uh, the small duffel as well too to the uh, 2021 Royal Enfield Meteor 350. And I'm telling you, I just simply love the way those bags look. You know, I've looked long and hard for different uh, motorcycle saddlebags for the Meteor 350 ever since I've uh, basically, when they first let me have the bike uh, to use as a uh, long-term loaner, uh, I was saying, man, this would be perfect if only if I had saddlebags. Only if I had saddlebags. Well, nine over nine months later. I've got saddlebags, and that means we're going to be doing a, a, quite a few uh, long-distance tours. The first one is uh, later this month, we're going to be heading down to... Uh the Appalachian Mountains uh, in Virginia, West Virginia, and uh, maybe even into North Carolina to do a little bit of uh, do a little bit of touring, if you know what I mean. And then, of course, in August we've got the Ronin ride, which we're uh, calling it August in Augusta, which we're uh, it's a small uh, ride for people who want to come to uh, 
Come to Ohio and ride with me on motorcycles with less than 500 cc's. We're going to take a, about a six hour ride down to Augusta, Kentucky. It's pretty cool because you have to actually cross the, uh, the Ohio River on a ferry. <laughs> and uh, I don't know how many guys have ever done that in their life. I've done it a few times, but it's a lot of fun doing that. And it's a cool little river town on the Kentucky side of the Ohio River. Well guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give us a big thumbs up, make sure you subscribe, hit that bell notification button, share and comment. You know I read all the comments and comment on as many as I possibly can. Until next time guys, ride safe and keep her on two wheels baby and check out longride.com.